Hi guys, welcome back and welcome back to a Skyliner episode. It has been a while. I know I've been taking it here, there and everywhere but I've not really done one focused on it. So here it is. Okay, yes, so if you've seen the Glasgow GTR Instagram, I have been threatening for a wee while to do a 0 to 60 challenge. Now it's always interested me, I know, yes you can read it off auto car or whatever sort of website you want to use but I think it would be really interesting just to see how it does. You go up to the quarter mile and you don't really get a feel for 0 to 60. So we have a draggy box and we're going to take this to a private test track that I've arranged through one of my pals and we're going to go and try 0 to 60. So I think we'll do three runs film three runs and we'll go best of three this is wait what how did you like it there? bottom right Right, so before we start, what sort of time do you think this will do, 0 to 60? So, standard back 1989 when these came out, this, although this one's 1992, these were running 5.6 to 60. So, of this era, there was nine, the R32 GTR, I would say, is the fastest production car you could probably get then. I might include supercars into that. Uh, maybe bar in the Porsche 959 sort of thing, but 5.6 to 60. I believe the Sierra Cosworth RS500 was 5.6 to 60, and in today's money, that is terrible. You could probably get a Nissan Note to do 5.6 to 60. So I'm hoping it's quicker than that, but we will see you now. And like I say, three attempts on film. So, so there is a spec list and video done on the channel for this car but this is exactly as it will be tested so it's full weight we are running the AD08R tyres everything inside and it will be on a Scottish test track so we might not have the best grip in the world. So we're, we're actually a bit more than full weight guys. I have done this with some oil and two radials in the back. I was going to lift them there, but um, probably couldn't put them on, eh? But yes, so more than full weight, everything in the car and radials in the boot. Right, so what I should have touched on is, if you haven't went back and watched the spec video this is obviously not standard it's running 485 brake horsepower and that's why i expect it to be quicker than 5.6 seconds to 60 so attempt one already that is much quicker than I was expecting guys 4.57 seconds so that was I'm actually delighted with that whether we get faster than that or not I would be happy I think 4.5 takes us to around New Year Golf R 0 to 60 I think they're about 
8 actually, 4.9 maybe, so yes, delighted with that, but two more to go, so attempt to. guys 4.29 wow i am delighted with that honestly i didn't think the car would be as quick as that bear in mind the private test track didn't have the greatest surface in the world now i can't complain the guys gave me a loan of the runway but the surface wasn't great 4.29 seconds i am very happy with don't know where that quite gets me to with similar cars you guys need to keep me right i don't know what else will be running sort of 485 brake horsepower manual what will be close to that but 4.29 one to go So guys, wow, final attempt. Now, I'll be completely honest, it took me six attempts in total. There was a couple that I couldn't film properly, the camera was all over the place. Final attempt on film, and the final submission I am making to you is 4.00 seconds to 60. I actually can't believe that. I genuinely didn't think the car would have had that in it. Now. That also, I think, would have been up there with my quickest 60 foot time ever, which was 1.83. I kind of wish I had a quarter mile to see if that would have sneaked me into the 11s that I've never been in yet, but 4.0 seconds. Now, I don't, again, I don't know where that takes me to in modern era cars, but I think sort of BMW M4 maybe. I'm trying to think what else is similar power that will be quicker than that, but I am delighted. Uh, what do you guys think? Was that fast enough? Um, I'm quite happy not to push that any further. This is the last time it will be out this year. Um, I don't think there will be any performance upgrades following. Uh, I am, like I say, delighted with that time. Please let me know if you think you should just go to a better surface, take it down to Santa Pod and make it run a 3.99. Um, but yeah guys, hope you enjoyed and if you're still watching, Please subscribe, please comment and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.